Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut out patterned paper using the Brother Scan and Cut. The paper we're going to be cutting out is called Toil and Trouble by Stampin' Up. It's part of our annual catalog which will be released September 5th, 2018. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cut out these pumpkins and bats using your Brother Scan and Cut. This are very simple tutorials. And if you want to go and do something more advanced, then please check out my previous tutorial on how to cut out these witches using the Brother Scan and Cut. We use color recognition mode to cut out these witches. Little tricky, but still simple. If you don't already have a Brother Scan and Cut, please be sure to use my links in the description to purchase one because this will make your crafting life so much easier. I'll show you the other papers in this pack after we get started. But let's just go ahead and load this pumpkin paper first. And on the back are some cute little brooms. Okay, and let me put that off to the side. Now you want to stick it to your paper. You want to stick it the paper to your mat really good, but you never want to block those lines. I mean these numbers. These are your registration marks. Okay, let's just put this on the mat. I restuck my mat recently, so it's stick. I give it a good rub anyway. The friction will help the paper stick better. It's very important that it doesn't doesn't slip during scanning. Okay, now I'm going to just go ahead and go up to the. Um, it's going to when you first turn on the machine, it'll probably spit out your mat. Yeah, it just spit out my mat, but that's okay. So the first thing you're going to do is load your mat using this button here. I don't want you to miss any steps. That's this button here. Okay, I'm just going to unload it because it went in a little crooked. So load, load the mat. Now, I'm going to select scan. I'm going to select direct cut because I'm not saving these pumpkins. I'm not saving them, I'm just going to go ahead and cut them out. I don't need them stored in my computer anywhere or in my machine. Select the machine, meaning that's where it's temporary story, temporarily storing them. Now, even though these pumpkins are, this is a colored piece of designer series paper, there's really great contrast between the pumpkin and the background. Therefore, don't waste your time in color recognition mode. We're going to use black and white recognition mode. If you're in color mode, then just go back and just click the black and white one. It'll just save us a lot of time. You'll be happy. Okay, I'm just going to start and it's going to scan those in for me. Okay, if you watched my previous tutorial on the witches, you saw how much longer it took when recognizing it in color recognition mode. Okay, I'm going to say okay. And it did a great job. Now, look how many pumpkins were selected. All of, almost, no, not even almost, every full pumpkin on the entire sheet was selected. That's wonderful. I normally would cut out the whole page of pumpkins, but there's such a cute pattern on the back of this paper that I'm saving it and I'm only going to cut out a section. So on the back of this paper, are these cute little witch brims. Okay, and there's the front and I cut out some pumpkins. So let's just select a section then so we can save some of that witch paper. We'll just select select this section. You could cut out your whole, your whole page of pumpkins, but we're not going to do that. And we're going to cut out pumpkins just from this area so you'll learn how to do it. We're going we're gonna to select here. This is outline distance. I always like to put an outline distance on them. This is this exact example is 0 0.04 outline distance okay and I'm gonna say okay and I love it I'm ready to cut okay we're doing we're cutting designer series paper in case you're new to my channel designer series paper I always use a blade depth of three I'm using the standard blade blade depth of three for designer series paper don't go too deep you don't want to cut through your mat hit cut hit start now, I have moved that out of the way and I have just a couple minutes to show you these cute papers from this pack. <laughs> Alright, you saw those. You saw the witches. I cut these out using color recognition mode. Super cute cats on the back of the witch paper. Okay, show you those. 
Yes, you can cut out the cats using the brother scan and cut. There's an example of cutting out the cats. We have stars. Awesome bats. Witches hats. Cute little frogs. Ghost. Stripes. Okay, you already saw that paper. And dots. Oh, and this awesome cauldron paper with the cat. Okay, so there are all your papers in the pack. I went over other products in the suite when I did my witches video. All right, so let's bring this back. What's going on? Let's, it only says finish cutting. Okay, unload the mat. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Now, just, I just like to peel my mat off. That's how I get these pumpkins off really easily. You could use your spatula tool that came with your brother scan and cut, but I find that just bending them out a little bit, everything pops right off of your mat. And now I will be making all kinds of cute little Halloween projects, cards, bookmarks, all kinds of things. So stay tuned for the video I create after I figure out what I'm creating myself using these pumpkins that we just cut out. Okay, great. So you have your scan and cut and you wanna cut out some bats. Let's do the bats next. The bats are really, really easy, by the way. Now I just gotta find the bat paper. I've cut out one whole sheet of bat paper already. Here we are. Okay, here's your bat paper. Now, I must say, and I went over this in the last video, but this is a really awesome, awesome punch. Okay, the punch. The spooky bat punch is available in the, next, in the annual catalog. I'm gonna be using this at craft classes. I'm gonna be using this at my craft club. So even though this punch coordinates with the paper, stick it right in there. Let me see, hold on, let me get, I gotta put on my reading glasses for this, folks. Okay, I'm no spring chicken anymore. Okay, so you see the paper and the punch coordinates, which is awesome. Not only that, they made a stamp set, which coordinates, okay? A stamp set which coordinates with the spooky bat punch and the paper coordinates. However, I'm not that patient. I can't see that well. And I like things really professional looking. Okay, so I'm going to just do it with the scan and cut. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to use that bat punch. I'm going to show you in a minute what, while this is cutting, what I just did with that bat punch. All right, so we have the bat paper loaded onto the mat. That's what I just did. We're going to go back to this home button. Delete all patterns, it's okay. We don't need those pumpkins again. Scan, this is a review, direct cut, save to the machine, even though it's not really saving. Black and white recognition mode, load the mat, okay. start. And it's scanning in. I'm not cutting all the bats out. I did already on one sheet, so I don't need to cut them all out again. See, I've already cut this out. By the way, this makes a great stencil for sponging. So don't throw away this paper after you cut out all your bats because I'm gonna have the students sponge the background of some paper. You know, they can use these as a stencil. All right, there's my bats. There are my bats, gotta be grammatically correct here. They're gonna say, okay, look how great of a job this did selecting all those bats. Let's just go ahead and select a little corner uh, let's do that little corner here. Let's just do, okay. I mean, that's fine. Let's just do a few up in the corner. Okay. And, and not even that many, because really I like to save this paper. I need to use the other side of this paper for some of my other projects. I'm going to put an outline distance of 0.04. I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to say, okay. And remember when we cut, we're using a blade depth of three for designer series paper. I give it a rub. I always do this because I do not want my paper to slip and the friction in my hands will help it not move and all that good stuff. So I've already cut out a whole basket of these. I can't wait to embellish away. But I told you I would show you what I did with the bat punch. 
I'm going to be making a video of all my projects. I'm sorry I have to speak loud because my machine's loud. But here... Ah! Sorry, didn't mean to scream into the microphone, but I do not want my paper clips to go inside the machine. I created these three paper clips using the spooky bat punch and the new foil paper. I think it's called black foil paper. And I can only show you the front of the catalog, but it is in this catalog, which will be available September 5th. So I will actually have, let me just open it up for myself, and I will have, okay, it's called black foil sheets. It's called black foil sheets, and they'll be available September 5th. Okay, so there we go. So we have three spooky bat paper clips. And all I did for these, and these are just going to be like little bookmarks I give out with the catalog. All I did for this was take the foil paper. I'm glad the machine stopped now because boy was that machine loud. All right, I took the foil paper that came, and I'll also do some, uh, I'll let you know what blade depth you need for this paper. It's super thick, shiny cardstock. I'm going to be using it with my thinlets. Okay, let's not digress. I'll be using it with my thinlets to make some spider webs. But anyway, my point is, I went in and I, made, I used a spooky bat punch. I, I put the bat punch like that, and I punched it. Then I turned it around, and I did the bat punch again. Okay, and then... I was able then to make these cute little clips and I'll just use tacky glue, but you can use hot glue, which would be a little better for holding these together. Okay, so even though we're cutting bats using our brother's can and cut, which is way easier, and I'm all about being I'm all about being an efficient crafter. I do so much crafting I need to save time, okay? That doesn't mean that you don't want that bat punch. It's pretty awesome for just cutting punching through any kind of paper. Alright, so let's not miss any steps here. Finish cutting, okay, unload the mat, okay. Now, here are our bats, perfect. And then I'm gonna show you the ones I made with the punch. Okay, and that's just, maybe you're gonna say, well, that's just you because you can't see. Fine, I'll admit it. But here are the ones I punched out with the punch. I mean, I'm just not that good at lining up the punch. So, I mean, they're, they're usable, they're cute, but look at the difference, there's my with the, with the brother scan and cut, I mean, we have a perfect outline around them, even on all the sides, you know, machine versus human. Okay, so there you are. And again, just bend the mat, get the bats off, etc. So in case you missed my last video, I'm just gonna really quickly show you these. And this is how I store my dies. There'll be a link to these magnetic sheets in, below. Okay, so there's how I store my dies. And then I put, I outline them in Sharpie marker to let me know if I'm missing any. But this is what I'm gonna be cutting. I'm gonna be cutting out these spider webs using that awesome foil, black foil paper. It's funny how something's right inside your grip and then you just, you know, lose it. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're doing with these spider webs. And then all of these different dyes, they coordinate with the paper. Like this one cuts out the cauldron on the cauldron paper. This cuts out one of the witches. This cuts out all the hats. The cat is on the paper. And these per coordinate perfectly with the Cauldron Bubble stamp set, which will be available September 5th. If you would like an annual, I'm sorry, an annual or a holiday catalog, that wasn't actually a mistake. If you would like a catalog from me, you don't already have a demonstrator for stamping up, please let me know. I'll have a link to my blog and my Facebook page where you can message me. There's so many other cute things in this suite. And although I can't open the catalog, I'm allowed to show you the products that I ordered from the catalog. So this is like glittered or organdy, organdy ribbon. Super cute. And these little, I haven't done anything with these yet, these little trinkets, but these are spider trinkets. And those are cute spiders. In fact, if you didn't get, let me just do this. I need to show you this close up. If you didn't get a good look at this. Focus camera, there. Super cute spiders. I mean, use them for decorating boxes, making jewelry. Now our blends, which I'm trying to collect them all, because I love coloring with the blends markers because they coordinate with our papers. This is Cajun Craze, and this is Mango Melody. Okay, so these are two new colors, which are available only in the holiday catalog, not in our annual catalog. 
So this helps you like add to your color collection while coordinating the, the colors with your with your suite. Oh, now there's my foil paper. And here are the colors in the suite. And we will wrap up. So there are the colors. Basic black, Cajun craze, crushed curry, early espresso, gorgeous grape, granny apple green, highland heather, lemon lime twist, mango melody, petal pink, pumpkin pie, and whisper white. So we have so many design choices in the suite. These colors are just fabulous. One of the dyes coordinates with this cat, one coordinates with the cauldron, one coordinates with the all of the hats on here. As my husband figured out, one coordinates with the witches. I mean, they're fantastic. They're fantastic dyes. The punch is fantastic. It coordinates with the paper. You can punch three bats out at once. Or you can just cut out bats from other papers. You can cut bats out of any patterns. I plan on cutting bats out of glitter. Make little projects. So thank you for watching. And I look forward to showing you all of the projects I create using the Toil and Trouble Suite by Stampin' Up. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one.